a white HBCU professor, historically black college university. I happen to be an HBCU professor myself. And this is why I'm angry at this professor. Here it is. Let's put up the picture of this yelling former professor. And I will give you the background. <clears throat> Nashville, Tennessee, a white history professor at an HBCU resigns after a viral video shows him screaming in a student's face. On Monday, Tennessee State University professor Robert Evans Pickard went viral when a video surfaced titled, Welcome to the HBCU Experience. It shows this professor aggressively yelling in a student's face. In the video, the professor is getting progressively closer to the student's face as he yells. And I quote, what is your name? Out, get out, you have failed this course. Whatever your name is, the student had to lay back in his chair to avoid face to face confrontation, okay? The account that encouraged people to spread the video later tweeted that the professor in the video is known for that type of behavior towards his students. The professor is at Tennessee State University and apparently talks to students like this all the time. Something needs to be done. The account tweeted the following hashtags, repost, TSU, racism, he needs to be fired, okay? Now, I gotta say this for the record. Professors typically who engage this way, the administration is aware. I'm telling you, I've worked as a professor since 2016. When you have a problematic professor, the administrative staff is typically aware. Why? At the end of every course, you know what you get as a student? You get a survey. And those students will tell the truth about their professor in that survey. It is anonymous, so they know. There have been other complaints, all right? In 2021, a student left a comment about this professor at ratemyprofessor.com. Now, if they went to ratemyprofessor.com, you know good and damn well they already complained at the institution site, okay? It reads, do not repeat, do not take this class. This teacher literally set us up to fail. He gives so much information and so many things we have to know like we're some robots or something. As of right now, I'm struggling with my final exam, I'm trying. We have eight essay questions, what is wrong with him? Horrible, you will fail, okay? Now, let me say this about education. You have concepts, pedagogy, adagogy, but what these concepts say and my professorial philosophy, it is up to me to bring the best out of you as a student. I've been a professor for years, I have not failed one student, not one. Because I know how to reach students and I give a damn enough to reach them. I have pulled up at students' apartments, knocked on their door to get them out of their homes back to college. Those are the kind of professors that faculty and administrators should support, but for some reason, People like this who are very adversarial in many ways, either through academics or through their social behavior, they tend to be treated, I don't know, with a certain level of respect as if they're teaching lessons, they're not. There's more, ratings have begun flooding since the incident, let's put it up. And it alleges the same professor is what? Rude, according to the students, racist, According to the students, makes derogatory comments and yells at the class, leaving him with an overall rating of 1.4 out of five. Now, even though this is an historically black college and university, I guarantee you, if I had a 1.4 out of five, I would be a fired professor. I would be no more at a black college. How is he getting away with this? I do not know. Meanwhile, the now former TSU professor has offered his resignation. The reason I quote, 
I deeply regret what happened in class. I lost my temper and did something I should have never done. I have been under pressure lately. And I have been frustrated with students who pay attention to their cell phones and laptops. Then wonder why they get low grades. But that does not excuse my behavior. I apologize to the students and offered my resignation. I am now retired as I planned anyway. Please respect my privacy. It is over now. <laughs> no, sir, it's not over. Let me tell you why it's not over. How many black students did you fail because of your bias? How many black students did you harm because of your rhetoric? How many black scholars did you break because of your lack of sensitivity? How many? Yeah, we have this one on the record. And yes, you are gone, but your damage has been done. I don't give a damn what other professors may say, who you know, Oh, he's a good guy. He's a bad teacher, he's a bad teacher. Tennessee State University released the following statement regarding the exiting of this professor. The university is aware of the incident. Identified in the video clip being distributed in the media, including on social media. TSU does not tolerate unprofessional behavior in its classrooms or otherwise di- or otherwise directed at students. The university is committed to providing a healthy and positive academic environment for all students. This incident runs afoul of the standard of behavior we expect from those charged with teaching and serving as role models for our students. The university has taken swift action, including personnel action. To address the incident and the faculty member shown in the video was immediately removed from the classroom and has been terminated. So according to him, he resigned according to the institution, he has been terminated. But president, faculty, administrators, please look at the academic background and automatically allow an appeal for any student who received a D or an F in any class he taught. Now that would be forward leadership now that you have this on the record. AB thoughts here. I think it needs to be very clear on whether he actually resigned or whether he was terminated. Because if he resigned, that means he was not punished for what he did. And that the school actually does condone his actions because you didn't take the action to protect those students. The other thing is, this is a white man teaching in a history department at a HBCU. So you knew exactly what you were doing. You knew exactly what you were doing and you have been getting away with this for a long time, which is why you felt comfortable enough to say respect my privacy. You don't get privacy when you invade the space and and quite frankly, the privacy of that young man who was in your classroom to learn. Yeah, and uh, thankfully the young man handled himself in a professional manner. Um, Big ups to you for doing that, could have went a totally different direction.